Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to our home. Today is the day before Mother's Day. Tomorrow is Mother's Day, clearly. Tomorrow is Mother's Day, and I actually work, so we decided we're doing Mother's Day today. And for Mother's Day, I wanted to go take a trip to Disney's Polynesian Resort. So, obviously we can't be at Disney World right now, so we thought we'd bring a little bit of Disney World to our home. So today, what are we doing? We're gonna make some Tonga Toast. Yay! We had Tonga Toast last year when we went to Disney World, and I absolutely loved it. So that's what we're gonna make here today for you guys. Yeah, so Disney just released the uh, recipe. So we're gonna try to follow it as closely as we can. It looks pretty easy. Uh, we got all the ingredients uh, and we're really hungry. So let's go ahead <laughs> and get this going. We went ahead and poured ourselves some mimosas, as you can probably tell. And uh, I've almost finished mine, so I'll probably need a refill here before we get going. Okay. Ingredients you'll need. For the sugar cinnamon coating, you'll need three-fourths a cup of granulated sugar and two teaspoons of cinnamon. For the batter, you'll need four large eggs, one and one-third cup whole milk, one quarter teaspoon cinnamon, one tablespoon of granulated sugar. For the Tonga toast itself, you'll need one quart of canola oil for frying, one loaf of sourdough bread uncut, and two large bananas. You want to make sure to cut each banana in half crosswise then each piece of that lengthwise. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the oil ready so we can fry our Tonga toast. Unlike normal French toast, you're not just like grilling it, you're actually frying it. So it's interesting. Um, seems pretty easy though from what I've seen. So we need four cups, uh, sorry, we need one quart, which is four cups of uh, canola oil, which is what this is. So let's go ahead and measure that out. Throw it in our cast iron. That's one, two, three, and mesh number four. All right. Now it says to get the temperature of the oil to 350 degrees. So we have this uh, meat thermometer, which I think should work just fine for us getting to 350. I'll just try that and see how it goes. So first up, let's mix the cinnamon and the sugar so we can get the cinnamon sugar the concoction ready to go. <laughs> so we can dip that tonga toast when it's ready. Let's do it. We get a bowl and we take the cinnamon and sugar. Bam, cinnamon. And the three fourths cup of granulated sugar. Throw it in there. And I got a tiny whisk, like Benjamin Babish, somewhere in here. I'll just whisk that bad boy. Ooh, it smells good. Okay, got that bad boy mixed up. Now, let's go ahead and get the egg batter ready to go. Okay, so next up, we're gonna whip the eggs in a medium bowl large enough to dip the toast. That's important. It's a well beaten, and then we'll add the milk, cinnamon, and sugar. Mix well and set it aside. Let's do it. Hopefully we don't get any shells. All right, let's beat these eggs here. I think they're beaten. So now we add the milk, cinnamon, and sugar to the batter. Oh, our oil's ready. How about that? All right, here's the milk. And cinnamon and sugar. Cinnamon, sugar, and then we will mix it again. Ooh, look at that beauty. Okay, what do you think? Mix well enough? Yeah, it looks good. All right, let's set it aside. So we need to slice our bread into four three inch thick slices. I'm gonna let you do this because you're better at this part. Okay. So first we, we cut the butts off. Yes. Oh, that's kind of a thick butt. All right. We'll save those for later. Yes, we will eat those. Okay, we got our measuring tape look here. Look how delicious this bread looks. We are now at a whopping eight inch loaf. So let's just go thirds. What say you? Okay, doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah. 
It's worth noting that the recipe calls for a 12 inch sourdough loaf, but uh, beggars can't be choosers is the best one they can find, so. <laughs> Do a little indentation there, see where to cut? Yes. All right. Okay. Let's cut go. these loaves, these slices. Oh. There, my bread knife is nice, isn't it? I'm going a little sideways. Maybe it kind of saw it. It's done. Ooh, look at that. Might be easier if you just. No, I don't want to shred the bread. Oh, okay. If you saw, then you shred. Mm, I don't remember that. It's what I learned in culinary school yeah. from the internet. <laughs> Whoa, look at those monster pieces. All right. That's going to be so good. All right. All right. All right, all right, all right. Should we sample? Let's do it. Sure. Cheers. That's really good. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Yeah. You might be able to see that our oil got a little too hot. It says not to do anything over 350 or it might burn, so we're going to cool back down. Okay, next step, you come in through the bottom of the bread and cut a slit that will come up to about right here, and that's where our bananas will stuff into. Yeah. So be very careful. But you want to make yourself a little pocket. That looks great. Good job. That's way better than I would do. Okay, now that you have your slits and all of your bread, and you want it to go pretty far, it's like to right here. So you can fit your whole slices of banana in there. This is exactly like the video. That's because we're good, good at following directions. This is going to be so good. Look at that. It's the perfect length. Yeah. It's fitting perfectly. Cool. It's a lot heavier. <laughs> and I learned that you can like cut a little bit and then just stick your hand in there and you can kind of like mm. pull. So that way you don't cut all the way through because you just want to pocket. You don't want to cut it in half. Yeah. it's a good point. Now we have our bread and bananas assembled. They will dunk into the batter and then straight into the fryer. Yep. Okay, so let's get our fryer back up to 350. All right, I think it's break time while we wait the, for the oil to get to the right temperature. Might as well refill your mimosa. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's just give you the rest and a little for me too. <laughs> I'm gonna go for mixed berry. Okay, I also have some too. Okay. Give it a stir. Cheers, baby. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. All right, for maximum splash protection. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to put on an apron because I don't want my nice upcut shirt getting all greasy. Uh, check out my awesome apron. That's the word that Marina got me for Christmas. It's so sweet. All right, we are almost at the right temperature. We've been having some temperature issues. It would go up, then it would go down, then it would go all the way around, and uh, its pants are falling down, so. Um, what can you do? Our Tonga Toast is ready to be dipped in the batter, and then we will throw it in the fryer and so if you have like a deep fryer or something that's real deep, you can do the whole thing, just submerge it and you're good. For us, since we don't have that, we're just gonna have to do half of it and then flip it over to the other half, just like they do in the most recent video from Disney Parks. So it's fine. I don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal. Um, but if you have a deep fryer, more power to you. And that's what I would do. Okay, 345, five degrees away. We're gonna do this. Got this. Let's go ahead and Dip. Okay, we've dipped on one side. Mm. And now we're dipping the other side. Looking delicious. Let's, let's do it. Ready? Ready. Oh. Set a timer for two minutes. Two minutes, counting down. Let's get the cinnamon ready to go. 
And then we need a plate to put stuff on when it's done. So the temperature's back up 330. 340. Smelling good. Mm -hmm. Good time for a mimosa break. Should be here in that time here any second now. All right, let's flip this bad boy. Oh, look at that. Yummy. Got those bananas cooking in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's that time here for two minutes. Two minutes is starting now. Hi, baby. What are you doing? You sitting in your swing? Someone doesn't want to take a nap. Mm -hmm. So once this is done, we're going to immediately throw it into the cinnamon. I just thought of an idea though, because you want it to be nice and like moist so it can absorb the cinnamon, like really stick to it. So I'm thinking of maybe flipping it one more time just for a second, just to get this nice and wet. And right into the cinnamon. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Get the sides, too. Okay. It looks amazing. Right into the plate. Okay, next one. Repeat. Now our Tonga toast is complete. Yep. And we have a baby that does not want to take a nap. No. She just does not want to go to sleep. She says, I don't like sleeping. I just want to be awake and hang out with you guys. Okay. Okay. Let's put some butter on our Tonga toast. Okay. We don't have a melon ball or anything, so we're going to use an ice cream scoop. Don't judge. <laughs> That's a lot of butter. <laughs> Cut them forth. That's, that's a lot. Of oh my god. We have a lot of butter. I guess we, uh, should we go ahead and add syrup? Yeah. Alright. All right, so for mine, I'm going to get a little light on the syrup. So let's go ahead and do that. Just a little syrup. Because I, I do not need it to be doused. Tell me how much syrup you want. I want all the syrup. The whole bottle? Just keep going. Your breakfast is served. Thank you, honey. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> all right, let's get a shot of that cross section. Let's do it. children. <laughs> Is it good? Mm -hmm. All right. I think it's better. Really? Yeah. Mm. When we had Tonga Toast at Kona, it was like really crunchy, I feel like, and kind of hard to chew. Mm. This is much more soft. Soft. It is so good. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's get a little cross section. Look at that beauty. Oh yeah. Alright, it's going to be a big bite, but I'm a big boy, so. Okay. <laughs> abort! Abort! I do. Your daddy's crazy. He's crazy, huh? Oh my gosh. That's oh, amazing. You're right, I think it's better than Polynesian. <laughs> it's a lot chewier. It makes it kind of hard to cut, but the banana is like very soft. You know, you want it to be cooked, you don't want it to be like a raw banana in there. The cinnamon, everything just, it tastes, it's like French toast on crack. It is so good. And um, this could be my only meal for the day. I'd be happy. Mm. 100%. It wasn't even that hard. 
The hardest part was finding uncut sourdough loaf. I had to go to a couple different stores to get one, but I, it's amazing. Totally worth it. All right, so we finished our Tonka Toast. What did you think? Oh my gosh, it was so good. I think it was better than the Tonka Toast at the Polynesian. I think so too. Ours was softer, chewier. Those bananas were like perfectly ripe. Yeah, and uh, if you can't find sourdough toast, um, we were thinking about trying some Texas toast. If you're not familiar with that, it's kind of just thick sliced white bread. Luckily, we found a sourdough loaf uh, at our local grocery store. Um, not the one we normally go to, we had to go to a different one, but we were able to find one. Um, if you can't find one, um, you might be able to try just like the thicker sliced uh, white bread, but honestly, sourdough I think is probably the way to go. Yeah, I don't think that you could fit the bananas into a slice of Texas toast, so you'd have to do two and do it kind of like grilled cheese style. And I don't yeah. know that it would really stick together right. very well. So. Yeah, so luckily we found the sourdough because, oh my gosh, it was so good. And uh, I couldn't even finish mine. I was I, I had one it. slice. <laughs> I hate it. I couldn't even finish it. Uh, my stomach was like, nah, we ain't, we ain't doing that. So it was so good. Um, I think we totally make that again. Yeah, I think so too. Maybe it should be a Mother's Day tradition. I like it. It wasn't even that hard. No. So, um, I think you should totally make it if you have a chance. Give us a comment if you do and let us know if you liked it, uh, if it went as well as you'd hoped. If it went as well as it did for us, I think it went pretty well for yeah, us. Yeah, I did. We didn't have any, like, major hiccups. Um, so yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us while we make our Tonga Toast. And yeah. hope you guys all have a great Mother's Day. And I hope that you find your own tiki mugs full of champagne. Yes. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Uh, leave a comment if you guys liked it at all. And if you like our channel, go ahead and hit subscribe. That'd be awesome. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye-bye.